So day number four. Uh, I got on trail super late this morning. It was, I think around eight o'clock. I didn't even wake up till 6.30. Hardly twitched a muscle all night, which which is actually a good thing. I could use the rest. Uh, I don't mind saying that this morning I was a little sore. Nothing serious, just, uh, you know, starting to feel it a little bit. After a long winter in Maine, eating pizza and drinking beer, uh, <laughs> kind of catches up with you a little bit. But anyways, feeling good there now. Uh, I haven't taken any Tylenol or anything. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try not taking any more than necessary, just because I don't want to, you know, mask, mask the pain and really end up screwing something up. So, you know, I kind of want to feel it so I can stop if need be before it gets too serious. Uh, no big plans again for today, I, other than maybe trying to get another 12 miles in. Uh, I'm not even sure what's coming up. There's, a, I think, a few smaller mountains, but knock on wood, they could be ass kickers, I don't know. There's one I know called Cow Rock Mountain. Anyways, we're going to go until we get tired and stop. Uh, the big push is going to be getting into the gap. I can't remember the name of the gap now. But, uh, anyways, the one where you can get into Hiawassee. Or there's also a hostel, I think that's .5 off trail. I think it's called Around the Bend Hostel. It used to be top of Georgia, I, I think. Don't hold me to that. But uh, I'm probably going to go, I'm not sure which one, but big thing is I need to charge my battery bank. Uh, did a bonehead move yesterday when I was at Mountain Crossings. I was there for like two and a half, three hours, I think, and never even gave it a thought to plug my battery bank in. I've got plenty of power to for my phone and, and so forth to get me to Hiawassee. Uh, so that's not really a concern. I just won't be able to upload videos from the trail anymore because that's what really sucked the power when I uploaded those two videos back at that stout spot. Anyways, uh, I'm going to wander on uh, and when I get a view or something I'll certainly turn the, turn the camera on. Like these little ridge walks with the big old trees. Once again, very, very fortunate with the weather. What a awesome, awesome hiking day. Temperatures just right. I mean, it was, it was chilly getting, getting out of the sleeping bag this morning, but once you get walking, it's it's absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think I mentioned that in yesterday's video, but really enjoyed my time at mountain crossings uh, staff was very very knowledgeable uh, I dealt mostly with a guy named just a bill <laughs> great guy and, uh, anyways I asked him uh, you know about stealth camping uh, on, in uh, upcoming miles and, you know, I don't want to stealth camp if it's against regulations and so forth but anyways he says no nope. he says you're on federal land now he says you sleep wherever you want I said welcome home <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, yeah great guy but, and up on the top of blood mountain met a guy about my age probably really nice guy we talked for a little while but, and uh, anyways his pack was 48 pounds and he was feeling it. I mean mine's mine's around 28 with you know everything in it, water, food and so forth. And yeah, I can't imagine adding them <laughs> 20 pounds to that. So but anyways, I left before he did uh, down Blood Mountain, got to Mountain Crossings. I was eating my pizza when he showed up. He said, Yeah, he says, I gotta do something. He says <laughs> 
So anyways, he went in and started talking to the guys and they did a pack shake down for him. And uh, I'm not sure what he got it down to, but I know they were throwing a lot of stuff off to the side that you know, he didn't really need. Like he, he had a extra pair of boots and I'm, I'm not talking camp shoes, I mean actual hiking boots, extra pair. <laughs> uh, a lot of older equipment, nothing, certainly nothing wrong with older equipment, uh, you know, but it is heavy, like he had a big old heavy antiquated cook set and stuff like that, so anyways, I, I'm curious, I don't know if he was going to spend the night back there, so I don't know if I'll ever see him again or not, but I'd be curious to see what he got his pack weight down to, uh, but yeah, you know, good on him for getting out here with what he had and got started figured that he was enjoying himself so he was investing a little bit of money and a little bit better equipment back there uh, you know good on him too for asking for the help you know he, he uh, went in there and they you know took a, took advantage of their knowledge and so I'm sure he'll continue on uh, probably a lot more comfortably than than he was before so down the trail a little bit further and I got thinking <laughs> being on YouTube I should put the clarification in just so nobody gets all worked up and so forth is uh when when he said camp wherever you want he you know it's obviously following the leave no trace principles but just wanted to say that because I know from following other YouTubers every once in a while you get somebody that jumps all over any little thing that may be taken out of context so anyway just want to put that in there you know obviously don't go knocking down a bunch of shrubs and you know camping right next to a water source and all that stuff Check out that view behind me. Beautiful, beautiful day. Almost on, oh, the, actually, this may be the summit of uh, Cow Rock Mountain. So, making decent time. Even though I got a late start this morning, that's that's absolutely fine. But yeah, check that out. Phew, it's a bit of a climb, coming out of some gap, uh, to snad, to snotty, I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway, yeah, Whew. a little bit of a, bit of a climb, I think we're, well, geez, no, I think we might have a ways further to go, anyways, we're, we're getting, gaining there, uh, yeah, going good so far today. No major issues thus far. Ooh. Anyways, continue on. Dang. <laughs> That'll get you breathing hard coming up over that. Holy crap. Still don't know how you pronounce that gap, but there was a sign that said hog pen gap 0.9, so I guess that's what we're going towards. But yeah, I think this is. That was the, I um, still got a little ways to go, but not much, but I think so. I think that was the toughest climb thus far on this trip. Phew. But we're almost to the top, so we're getting there. Survived it anyways. All that pizza and beer over the winter is coming back to haunt me. Whew. All right, here we go.
So most of the people I've been traveling around today, we've been kind of leapfrogging each other all day. Uh, are staying at Low Gap Shelter, which I just passed a couple minutes ago. Uh, went in there and talked with everybody for a couple minutes. But, and But I've decided to move on for about another mile and a half, a little less. Uh, there's a poplar stamp gap where there's apparently some decent unofficial campsites. Uh, it's only two o'clock, so it's. I, I hate stopping real early because I like walking, not camping. Uh, I mean, I don't mind the camping part of it, but in such good weather, uh, I just want to take advantage of it. I'm a little weary, but in this last mile or so is kind of uphill, if you can't tell, kind of breathing, kind of heavy. But save doing it in the morning too. So, anyways, should be there shortly. Apparently, the campsite where I'm planning on staying is kind of difficult to get water. So, uh, gonna get it here at this little stream, this little waterfall, before I head up. There, made it the Poplar Stamp Gap. So I'm the only one here at the moment. Uh, it's decent there, it's a nice flat spot. I might pick that spot right there. I haven't set up my tarp yet or anything, but wanted to do this closing video just in case somebody else shows up. But yeah, uh, mile, I'm at mile marker 44.1, I believe it is, according to AWOLS. So I got my 12 miles in, well, just, just a whisker under 12 miles from gap to this point so happy with that uh, so yeah it was a fairly mellow day other than that one climb up to uh, I can't pronounce the name of the gap that rose up from but going to hog pen gap anyways that was kind of a little bit of an ass kicker there so anyways other than that like I say it was fairly fairly decent uh, but again another beautiful day I, I don't know how I lucked out on the stretch of weather uh i'll probably <laughs> pay for it <laughs> in another week or two but anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts uh, so anyways yeah i'm gonna get set up get something to eat and call it a night so we'll see you tomorrow